Hey everybody, Brendan here from TAT, and today we're gonna to do a product review on Haynes Pro. Now, some of you may remember, it's been a few years now since I last looked at Haynes Pro, but there's been a few changes lately that I think are definitely worth talking about. Uh, two big ones, uh, something simple like this Rego lookup, which is oh so helpful, um, through to some big changes for high voltage vehicles. So we now have a huge amount of information available on your hybrid and electric vehicles. So firstly, let's just, Go through and we'll put a rego in here, uh, this one being a WA one, so something that seems so simple, but you know, with the amount of engine designations and things that are coming up these days, it is very nice to be able to put a rego look up in there and it's gone and got the exact vehicle there. So you know, we might be in the workshop and we may wanna do something as I say basic, but these days nothing's basic, is it? So we might wanna just be looking at something like how do we check the oil level? This thing doesn't have a dipstick. So we can go in there and we can get the procedure. Um, one thing that's great about Haynes is they're generally gonna to link to stuff. So you know, if we're filling up the oil, we're probably gonna to wanna to know what oil we're putting in it so we can link through to the lubricants page there and we can quickly get back um, and go through the procedure here of uh, because we don't have a dipstick how we're actually checking the oil level in this vehicle um, many of you be familiar with Haynes itself but uh, they are well known for having a good depth of information so you know right from the oil there we're going to go to something like say a door trim removal and the uh, images uh, generally some of the best in the business, you know, OE level stuff where often you'll have uh, OE procedure numbers, part numbers, and the diagrams, uh, very, very uh, intuitive in how to get through there and do something like that. So let's go back to the start here and uh, we'll throw in another one here. So I've got another rego. So there's our rego in there and this one is a New Zealand rego. So this is to show that this does work in New Zealand as well. So we've got our Mazda CX-5 here. Um, another big feature of Haynes Pro is the smart pack. So we've got TSBs, recalls, some repair cases, we could go into them or bring them all up in the smart pack here. And then we can go through and you could scroll through them all. Or one of the big features of it is the way that you can search. So we go on a road test, we've got a clunk, just see if something comes up. And in this case, there is a TSB. So very clear goes through, you know, what the issue is, what the technical service bulletin calls for, even to the point of having some OE part numbers in there. So an extremely useful area. Now we go back and you know, since we were on a Euro before, if we go into our uh, common type repair manuals as well, you know, you might next be onto um, something where we wanna do something as basic as say brakes, you know, we, we go in and we just need to know how do we do the rear brakes? You know, how do we operate that electronic parking brake? And this will go through things like emergency release, the actual way that we do the brakes itself. And notice that we've got these uh, links, as I said. So, you know, it's often uh, getting us through to deeper parts and it's all there to click a button, then you can go in and out, you know, to the point of when we're starting to put this back together, there's going to be uh, torque settings that we can go to and all kinds of things like that. Very easy right there at your fingertips, right? So I do find it quite intuitive. Um, if we head back, uh, one other thing that I noticed there was um, ADAS coming up. So that's, you know, you may not even be into ADAS, but just as far as being able to know what is there that does need ADAS calibration, and maybe that might dictate what you're doing with some of your repairs, and you might stop and think, wait a second, are we affecting the ADAS system here? So that's very handy as well, let alone obviously having the procedures in there for them too. The next feature I want to show you is VESA, the Vehicle Electronics Smart Assistant. So this rego here is a Northern Territory one. And if we put that in there, you'll notice that we can search fault codes. So it's not just going to give us the fault code description, um, but VESA is going to be trying to help us with what we've got from that fault code. So um, we're going to look into how it guides us through a fault finding process, uh, but it's obviously always also checking its smart cases. And in this case, there is one there. So I mean, we'll quickly look at it. So it's gone and grabbed a common fault on these ones, walks you through even with some uh, test procedures, things we should see for the control of that component, what the actual fault is. Um, which is great, but what I think is a absolute standout is how it's gone and it goes, okay, well, if we're dealing with a fuel rail pressure too high code here, well, these are some of the things that you probably should be going and checking. So we can go into these components and it's going to try to build a bit of a plan for us as to how we'd go about testing that. So 
it's got the full wiring diagram and broken it down into just what we should be caring about for this fuel pump, circled it in red. And then we can go through here and it's a choose your own adventure type situation where it's going to continue building this narrative based off what we get from the tests. So uh, sure, we should start by checking power. Let's say we don't have power there. It moves on and says, okay, well, we should move to checking at the fuel pump relay. Um, down the bottom, so we've got our uh, wire colors and, and pin numbers and things like that that you might want as well, but you're not railroaded into having to do exactly what it says. So for instance, you know, it might be a good idea to check this fuse. So we can click on that fuse there and it's its own component that we can go, okay, great. Here's the the um, circuit. Notice how when you go over these and we can click them. So on bigger, more detailed wiring diagrams, it's nice to be able to follow it through by highlighting it like that. And then we can click it off. Um, but say this fuse, you can then go to location. It's showing you the location in the fuse box. Notice it's highlighted it for us. So um, the depth of information and the smarts that it's got there is super handy for problem jobs. So I mentioned at the start that high voltage is fully engaged, which it is. So we now have a full suite of hybrid and electric vehicles uh, to meet yeah. compliance uh, with the legislation. So you do have to have your relevant certification. So you'll notice here, I've got my ORETH 101 logged with Haynes Pro. Uh, this is not a Haynes thing. This is legislation. They must uh, prove that you have your certification to be able to access this service information on high voltage vehicles. So we'll put in this Queensland Rego here. Uh, start out with an easy one, the Toyota Prius. Um, some extra things that you'll notice, you know, that are different to other non-high voltage vehicles. So if we were to come into, we could get to here from repair data or electronics, but obviously a procedure you may need would be de-energizing the high voltage system. So this is a vehicle specific, you know, with pictures in typical Haynes fashion, very clear, easy to look at, and it's gonna go through and show you the depower procedure of that vehicle. But just like any other, we do still have all of our wiring diagrams, we have our locations, our fuse boxes, all of those things, our CAN bus overview, our locations here where we could go to get into, uh, say, where even grounding points are, which you know that is something that you don't get on uh, many other data providers and is very handy. And uh, just as we had before, so we could put in fault codes here and it's going to bring up the uh, VESA system where it's going to go through, see if there's any fixes, which in this case there is there, or just the same, going to go and find what would we be testing in there. So uh, just because it's a high voltage vehicle, yes, there are extra things, but we do have all the other things you're used to on Haynes Pro. To take it a little bit further, so we'll go get ourselves an EV. So we'll get a BMW i3 and we could have an electric or a hybrid, we'll go with the electric, very easy to navigate. Um, so of course, you know, there's going to be procedures in there, um, in our electric procedures. I mean, sometimes it's difficult enough for the 12 volt battery these days. So we'll go in here and, you know, it gives you the procedure for just even 12 volt battery disconnection and reconnection, but obviously being a hybrid vehicle, we're also going to have our high voltage system de-energize uh, specific to this vehicle, uh, OE procedures here, and you know, even gonna have part numbers there if there's special parts or anything like that. Um, interestingly, this one also has a high voltage battery test as well. So this is giving you what would be the OE procedure if you were getting into state of health testing for this high voltage battery as well. So some new things that you're gonna start seeing in there with your high voltage vehicles, but of course it's still going to have you know, your traditional um, locations, fuse boxes, all those kinds of things and wiring diagrams. Um, to go grab another one, so we'll go get a, another EV, we'll go a Kia. Uh, you'll notice we've got some full EVs here, so we'll get an EV6. Um, if you're not getting servicing of hybrids or EVs coming in, I mean, it's getting to the point now, a lot of these models, there only is the option of hybrid. You know, the, there's no non-high voltage option for a lot of ICE vehicles even now, uh, whereas obviously we've got full EVs here. So, you know, we're going to need that information, which we have in here. We've got a maintenance schedule. Someone calls us up, says, I need to do a 60,000 K service on my Kia EV6. Well, just like any other vehicle, we've got what's involved in that service here in our maintenance list. And you can even start to build it when you're adding things in there. Um, stuff that I've run through in that uh, video I did a few years ago, if you want to go get a little bit more detail there. But today I just wanted to show you a few of the newer things in there. And I think that that's 
great that we can now search by Rego and I'm looking forward to exploring some of the high voltage uh, applications that we've got here. As you can see, you know a lot of uh, new manufacturers here, Tesla, BYD was hanging around here and such. So um, definitely some things to take a look at if you haven't looked at Haynes Pro for a little while.